Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I actually wasn't planning on filming today, I was just taking some photographs for my Instagram, but the lighting in here is actually working out really well. I'm not even using a ring light and I love this, so I decided that I was going to film. So today will be my Boxy Lux product review. This month, instead of Boxy Charm, I got the big box, the Boxy Lux, and there was 11 products in here. This is the list of all of the products here, and I have actually good job Megan, good job me. I've actually tried out everything but one of these products so I figured I'd give you guys my review because I know Boxylux is happening again in December and if you guys are on the fence on whether you know you want to sign up for the waitlist, I know there is a waitlist currently or if you want to skip out on it, if it's worth it, I'll let you guys know here so if you want to see this video then just keep watching. Okay so we're gonna start from this big pamphlet if you haven't seen my unboxing, I will link that down below. I'll try to remember to link that down below. But we're just going to go down the list here. Um, the first one is this. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. And this retailed for $45. And it looks like this. Oof. I will say, I was not excited whatsoever to get this. I saw this in store when it came out. Probably, what was it, almost a year ago now? And I wasn't blown away by it. I didn't really know how to use bronzer then. Not that I really do now. This is... I'm getting better. I'm learning tips from Mariah Leonard little by little. But I got this in the box and I was not excited. But then I started using it and it has become my favorite product. Probably. Is this? Ah, they're all so good. This has become one of my favorites and a day-to-day -day product. I love specifically these two shades here. They're the two matte bronzer shades. This one is the perfect bronzer contour shade for me. It's just neutral enough that it doesn't pull too warm and make me look orangey. And it's not too cool toned. I don't look gray. I do mix them together for a bronzer and I leave them on its own for a contour. And it gives me what I have here, which is a nice natural bronze. I'm trying not to get that like stripe of bronzer on my cheek, which I have had in past videos. Every day is a learning process, so I'm learning. And I have even used these two highlight shades just to brighten up my under eyes on days where I felt I needed a bit more brightening. So this has just become a staple product. I love the packaging on this. It is so sturdy. The mirror is huge. The only thing is the mirror doesn't come all the way. I can't move it past this point. So, I mean, I don't feel like you need it. But in case you're like one of those people who want to flip it all the way up, which I am. Just know it doesn't do that. But I think this has just been... Such a great product. I'm so happy we got it in the box. I think it's worth $45. I wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't for BoxyCharm, but I think this is something I would recommend and thinks that I would love to give to my friends. So this is a total win for me. Product number two I actually have on my face day. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush in the shade Tropic Hues. And it is this beautiful marbled, like, berry toned. Oh, it is so beautiful. It has veins of, like, Super pink, veins of berry, veins of peach, and it is a baked blush. It's shimmery. This retails for $28, and I've never tried anything Laura Geller in my life before. Honestly, Laura Geller was never a brand that just caught my attention. I thought it was really expensive, and I don't hear a lot of people talk about it, so I didn't know if the quality was there for the price. I have a hard time justifying spending $28 on a blush if I don't feel the quality is there. But again, I'm so happy that I got BoxyCharm because I get to try out these brands and these products I would not have tried before. And I think this is beautiful. There does, there is a bit of kick up when I did my brush into here as I did today. But it gives a nice soft glow. It's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be, which I really like. I like a lighter pigmented blush because sometimes I'm a little heavy handed. And I would like to have the opportunity to just not mess up my makeup. I don't like a really shimmery blush, as you guys know, but this has really just been so beautiful, so nice. It's not shimmery, it's just a sheen. It just gives my whole cheek a nice, healthy glow. And I feel like in the winter when my skin is so dry, this is really, really helpful to make my skin look healthier. So I really like this too. Spoiler alert, I liked a lot of these products in here. Okay, the next thing we have is from Pretty Vulgar, and it is this Nightingale palette. Now, this was in everyone's box, just like the Laura Geller Baked Blush. I got four of the products that were in the Everyday box in my Boxy Lux, so just keep that in mind. This retails for $35, and it looks like, like this. I can't flip the mirror all the way up, and that pisses me off. I don't know why, I just want to flip the whole mirror back, but it looks like this. And I love 
these shades. It is super cool toned and let me tell you, I have been looking for a good cool toned palette for a while because in the summer, like, as you can tell my eyes, I love warm toned eyeshadows. I just think they're beautiful. But every once in a while, I want to class it up. I feel like these are very classy colors. And I have been on the search <laughs> for a great gray shade, like this one right here. This is my whole heart. It is like, ugh. I don't know what it is. Grays and greens on the eyes just really... They have a very special place in my heart as I'm wearing like a grayish shirt. I love grays. I love greens. So the fact that this has a nice gray is awesome. I love the formula on this. As you can see, I think you can see, yeah, there's like a little film that almost is over some of these shades. That's a little weird. And in those swatches, the matte swatched horribly, which I was so confused about because I had used this palette before I swatched those eyeshadows for my Instagram and they blended out so well. Like you wouldn't tell they don't look patchy. They are super creamy and super blendable on the eyes. I had no problems. So I think it's because I get this little film over them when swatching and I used this shade here the other day. So some of the like film came off of it and they just work so well. So don't let that deceive you. The swatches may not do it justice. Honestly, this is such a high quality palette. And I cannot say enough good things about it. It's just really the perfect cool tone. And let me tell you, this, this shimmer shade here is just to absolutely die for. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. But I love that from Pretty Vulgar. I've been really impressed with Pretty Vulgar products that we've gotten lately. I feel like I want to pick, I want to pick more up. Ugh, I want to pick more up eventually. All right, the next thing we have is from R Co. They actually followed me on Instagram, which is so sweet. I've never had a brand do that before. So this is the Death Valley Dry Shampoo. And this retails for $17. This is a travel size. I'm going to state for you guys there. Um, I don't typically use dry shampoos. I think I used it once two weeks ago because I had a presentation. I stayed up all night and I could not shower, which it just really it grossed me. I like I like having nice clean hair. I, d I don't, I don't know. I don't like dry shampoos very much. This worked really well. It kept my hair, like all the oils out of it. It looked really nice. It just smells atrocious. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Let me, let me spray a bit. There it is. Oh God. Okay. It smells like grandmother. Like, you know the stereotypical grandma smell? Like, powdery and mothball-y a little bit, but also kind of floral. It's a very interesting scent. It's not one that I particularly like because I have such a sensitive nose that throughout the day this did irritate my nose and I got a little bit of a headache. But I like the way it works. It's a good dry shampoo. I just think the scent is pretty gross. I really think $17 for a travel size is just so expensive. I use Batiste also and that's like $8 and it's a full size and it works just as well. They also have an unscented Batiste so that's also there. So I don't know that was probably the ones I'm on the fence on. One of the only ones I'm on the fence on in this box. It's just it's not something I typically use and it didn't smell the greatest. All right let's move on to the next one. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water. You guys know I love the primer water. Oh, I got it in a 21 Days of Beauty, I think a year ago now. And maybe it was six months ago. Six months or a year ago. And I have been loving this. I use it every single day, the original primer water, before I do my makeup. I just feel like it makes such a great base for makeup to stay onto for actual primers. Like, I use the primer water, then a moisturizer, and then a primer. And I just feel like it just make sure everything sinks into my skin so well. So I was so excited to get this coconut water one because I love <laughs> the smell of coconuts. I love coconut things. I like coconut flavored things. I love coconut scented things. I love coconut. I use something from Bath and Body Works. It's called fresh coconut. So like <laughs> the love is real. Um, but I was afraid of this because I was afraid it was gonna be chemically smelling. And I was afraid it was gonna linger because again, on my face, Th certain things that smell do bother me, but actually, I'm gonna spray this again. Ugh, look at that mist. You can't even see it. But honestly, this isn't super heavily scented. I'm pretty sure Nicole Concilio, like, collabed with them to make these scents. The scent is very, very faint, and it also doesn't linger. Like, I just sprayed two sprays right here in front of my face, and it's already gone, the smell. So it works just as well as the regular primer water and it smells really good. So that is a plus for me and that retails for 
$32. This is the only thing I haven't tried. This, ne this next product is the only thing that I haven't tried for my Boxylux, and I'm going to explain to you why. It is this. This is the Sol de Janeiro Eye Panama Sunset Glow Oil. I haven't used this because it's not summer. I'm covered up. Like, what part of my body can I possibly put glow on now? I'm so excited that I got this, and I'm so excited to try it, especially because... Like, I want to go on vacations, I want to go to the beach, I want to, like, do stuff and be more active outside. I'm a huge homebody. I don't want to open this before summer. I'm just afraid it will go bad before then because it only has a shelf life of, like, a year. So I feel like if I open this now, I'm going to waste it. Um, so I'm going to wait till the summer or the spring to open this when I am wearing tank tops and more sleeveless shirts. Just because I think this is such a cool, interesting product and I don't want to waste it. Um, so this retails for... $35. I also wish it had a pump. This is all it has right here, and then there's a little stopper here that you take off, but there's no way to, like, get out a specific amount of product, which is, you know, it's fine. It just looks so pretty. This is just so aesthetically pleasing. Next up is a lipstick. We also got this in the regular BoxyCharm. This is one of the things that, like, what is that called? Um, that rolled over? We're gonna call it rolled over. I'm sorry, I'm getting so much sun right now. This, So this is the Violet Voss Liquid Lipstick in the shade Trist, T-R-Y-S-T. And this is a beautiful pink. Like, if you can see, it's a, it's a mauve pink. I am not a pink person whatsoever. I don't think I've ever bought pink lipstick of my own accord. But this one is so freaking pretty. Here, I just swatched it on my back of my hand for you guys. It looks just like this. Um, so this retails for $12, and I'm pretty sure they sell Violet Voss now in certain Target stores. So if you, like, want to try Violet Voss, you don't have to go to Sephora. You can go to Target and get some stuff there. 95% sure about that. I really hope I'm not leading you guys astray. Anyway, um, I don't know how to feel about this. I really like that it has a very thin formula. It is very opaque off the bat, and it really dries down and does not budge. Like, this swatch will be on my hand all day. I, ca I can't get it off when I swatch it. But when I put it onto the lips, it does something weird. And I don't know if it's because I put a, a chapstick underneath it or because I had, you know, just eaten or I, maybe I did something wrong with this. But when I put it on my lips, it stuck. Like when I did this, it looked like my lips were peeling off. It's They stuck to itself. And I've had this problem with a few other lipsticks in the past. I just heard like so much raving about these that I didn't think that was going to happen. So I guess I'm going to have to try it a few more times, but I actually did take it off right as I put it on once it started, like, sticking to itself. Because I don't think that's... I, I don't want to go around and, like, start to talk and have my lips stuck to each other. It also transfers some of the product from the top and the bottom lip. But like I said, once it dries down on my hand, it doesn't move, so I feel like I probably did something wrong there. I will continue to try that out, and maybe I'll let you guys know in, like, an Instagram post or something. Okay, so <laughs> next product is the product it didn't want to love. As much as I do because it's expensive. It's this. This is the Luxie 732 foundation brush and this retails for... Hold for a minute. $38. <laughs> and I know that's not like a, a an obscene price for a brush. I'm just cheap and I find that there are a lot of like cheaper alternatives to brushes that do so well that like when I see a brush that's over $30 I'm almost... I'm shocked, uh, offended a little bit, and I don't know how to feel about it. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to like this brush because it's thirty-eight dollars, and like I don't want to recommend a thirty-eight dollar brush when I know there are ten-dollar brushes that work just as well. But I'm in love with this. I have been using this, I think, two days, and look, you can barely see any foundation on my brush. It actually is showing up more on camera than it does in person. But this picks up literally negative zero product from the foundation. When you brush it in, it doesn't stay in the bristles. It really just deposits it so nicely onto the face. And I usually hate how streaky brushes can be. Maybe I just haven't bought a really expensive brush that doesn't do that. But my foundation brushes are usually really streaky and this one isn't. I don't have to go over it with a beauty blender. It gives me full coverage out of my medium coverage foundations. Like, look at how flawless my face looks. I use this today and I just can't put makeup on any other way and I'm a beauty blender lover or like a beauty sponge lover. I use it every single day to put on makeup but this has changed my life a little bit. I kind of understand how beauty gur gurus are like oh 
let me use a brush, let me use a brush, but it's so expensive, but it's so good. And I actually did look into buying more brushes from this line because I was so impressed, but it's just, it's hard to justify a price like that, especially for me. I'm in college and I feel like a lot of people just can't afford to drop $40 on a makeup brush. Know that there are other alternatives to this brush, but know that if you do have this brush or if you're thinking about splurging and getting yourself a beautiful foundation brush, this is worth it. This is worth every penny. I know Gen Beauty's coming up in New York. Actually, my boyfriend's going to that for me. Bless his soul. But I wonder if they're going to have these on sale in Gen Beauty. I wonder if they're going to have any sales that deal with these this line of pro brushes. But if they do, definitely pick this up then because you will literally not regret it. Okay, I promise we only have three three more things. We only have three more things. Oh my god. Okay. So the next product is from Juice Beauty. It is the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer, and I'm in love with this. I mentioned in my BoxyCharm video that I have been so curious about Juice Beauty. It's always on like Ulta's skincare sale. They're always having a day where it's like half off, and I have wanted so badly to try one of these, but it's just... I feel like I need reviews, like I need an influencer to tell me if it's good or not, and I need to be able to trust their opinion because it's a... This is $70, <laughs> so that's a lot of money to spend on a moisturizer, and I know there are good drugstore alternatives, but I'm so happy that I got this in BoxyLux because it has become a, a favorite. I mentioned this in my monthly favorites, which I will also link down below for September. <laughs> um, I have been using this every single day since we got it in the box. I love that this has this little thing where you press it up and then the product comes out. It is a very thick... Uh, moisturizer formula, which is something that I'm not used to. Oh, there goes my light. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna continue with it. It's in and out. I'm hitting a cloud. It it is a lot thicker than I'm typically used to, but it just um, changes my whole life. I, I I don't know how many more times I could say I have dry skin, but I have dry skin. In in the past, I feel like when I put on overnight creams, they don't stay like in the end of the morning my skin drinks them up and my skin is already dry by the next day I don't feel like it's a good base for my next morning you know I got to keep my skin hydrated all throughout the day especially if I want to wear foundation the next day foundation no matter how dewy it is still dries out my skin to a point but this this has changed the game it is so thick and creamy that I feel like when I put it over my serum and over my spray um, it just locks everything in and I wake up and my skin feels plump. It feels moisturized. It feels hydrated. It feels so good. So good. And, um, I just cannot stop this. This is so, oh my God. Why do I drop everything? Why do I drop everything? It's okay. It's okay. I just love this and I'm going to put it down before I drop it again. Okay. So the second to last product are... These! So these are the Oijos brushes from Alamar Cosmetics. I actually am wearing the Reina del Caribe palette on my eyes today and I'm in love. I'm in love with these brushes too. These are $18 for these three brushes. So you could have $38 for one brush or $18 for three. See, this is why I can't justify this brush, but I love it. Ugh. So I love these three brushes for separate reasons. I have never had a flat brush like this before. This um, is good for lower lash line, for eyeliner, for waterline, for brows. And I really do think this is so multi-dimensional, multi multi-purposeful. I love it. It's very, very soft, but stiff at the same time enough to get precisely what you want. I think this is really, really amazing. I'm absolutely head over heels in love with this flat shader brush because it is so small and so densely packed, the bristles, that it is the perfect brush to cut the crease with, but also the perfect inner corner highlight brush, the perfect brush for packing shimmer shades on the lid. It just does it like no other brush I have. And I'm obsessed, obsessed with this so much. This is might be my favorite brush of the whole trio. And it's like a boring brush, but I really love this one. And then we have the uh, fluffy crease brush, which again, I just, I love. These are so high quality. And they're for such an affordable price. I love Alamar Cosmetics and I will continue to purchase things from them. And I just want to buy like a brush pack for all my friends who do makeup because it's just like so good. And I love the like, I love the green, 
the green handle. I love the copper. I just think they're just so cute and so functional and so high quality. <sighs> Gabby, keep doing your thing. You're, you're killing it, girl. All right, I'm going to move on. The last product is actually <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> Which is going to sound so stupid because it's this. This is from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. And it's a headband. And it has a bow on it. And I love this so much with all my heart. This is retails for $5. And I had one of these like headband things from Derma E that I got. Oh, it's coming off. That I got in Gen Beauty last year. And I liked it, but it just wouldn't stay in place. And when I get out of the shower, I don't want something that's going to slip off. Which is what the Derma E headband did. This stays in place. It has this really nice thick band here. And also it feels like a towel, like a, a shower towel. So when I get out of the shower and I put this over my hair, it really helps dry my hair as well. And it doesn't, it doesn't smell. It doesn't retain any like weird moldy smells sometimes you get from the, the shower towels. And I think this is just the absolute cutest thing. I... I love this bow. I wear it all the time and even Claudio thinks it's really cute. My mom thought it was really cute and I really just reach for this so much to do my makeup, to do everything. I love this. What, what can I say? <laughs> so that is everything I got in my Boxy Lux this month. I'm pretty sure the overall value was something crazy like $350, which makes sense because we have a $40 brush, we have a $70 uh, moisturizer, I mean, it just adds up quickly. Um, so if you have not gotten BoxyLux, because I know there was a lot of anger about BoxyLux and how it was handled, um, I do think it's worth it to sign up. This was $50 instead of the regular $21 a month. And it almost reminds me, it's reminiscent of like a makeup fab fit fun box because you get 11, 10 to, I don't know how many products are in the next box, but they originally said 10 products in this box and they added an 11th. And also I didn't mention this, but, oh, do I have my bag here? I do. And also, I didn't mention this, but they threw in this absolutely adorable tote bag, which I actually have food in right now. It's called, it says Totes a Charmer. So that wasn't even included in there. It's just like, I feel like this was really well curated. I don't know how well it went with the theme of like wildflower, but I just think the products they picked in here were very high quality. I was so excited to try all of these new brands, all these new companies, all these new products, and I really have found a deep love for a lot of them. Like I said, out of everything here, I think I only didn't like, or was on the fence about two products out of 11. I think this was money so well spent. And if you have been wondering if you should get BoxyLux or not, I would just put my name on the wait list and see what happens because honestly, it was worth it. It was so worth it. I use these all the time. I, I'm so impressed and I cannot wait for December's BoxyLux. Okay guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in my next video.